What's going on folks? I am Goat and welcome back to Warframe. First video of the year and I figured I haven't been posting uh, anything other than those last two Veil Proxima videos. So, <clears throat> excuse me by the way, uh, why not dig into the Narmer bounties? Just running solo. Um, yeah, so I was running Fortuna. And now we're daytime over on Earth because I'm trying to get the last component for. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm trying to get the last component for my second Caliban, so I have that prick to sacrifice. Because why not? Why not indeed, right? Sorry, I just knocked a bunch of shit over on my desk, so give me just a moment. So, yeah, running a 50 to 70 level bounty, running solo, and of course, I probably should have just gone in to see this, but actually, I am going to do because I want to show you something. Uh, anybody who's completed the new war at this point and has been doing these bounties has probably realized this. Um, but those who have not, obviously not a spoiler, because, I mean, you have no idea what the hell an armor is if you haven't done the quest, so good luck. God be with you. One of the payout items that is used to build the new weapons, like the Karum and then the Fairy and the um, uh, the Vertilac, we shall make use of you. is yes, Narmer Isoplast. As you see, you could trade Narmer Isoplast once you're done collecting everything for two thousand standings each. So you can trade Intex Sentian Cores for two hundred and fifty. You can trade Exceptionals. For 40 or for 750, you could trade flawless for 1500, or you could just fucking farm Narmer Isoplast, which typically you get at least one a bounty, <clears throat> sometimes more. If you actually complete the bonuses, sometimes you'll get a double down uh, or a double and a triple. I mean, you know, as, as far as complete uh, the um, bonuses to the bounty. So, but yeah, that's a very interesting thing. And it is through Little Duck and it is through Anku. Um, oh, shut up, also. <clears throat> I did test off of just the uh, thoughts of uh, something Brack brought up would be like, wouldn't that be cool if we could use that with Cephalon Samaris? You know, one syndicate, multiple syndicates. Sad not. You go in. You work. Let's go fight the fucking Grenier. What do we get? Caliban systems. Fuck my life. I need Caliban chassis. That's fine. We'll get some more isoplast. See you soon. Because <clears throat> I think I'll still need to farm um, more anomaly shards, if I remember correctly. Because I've got two of his parts collected and built. Lucky for us, we have you, eh? Go and help those diehards to die a little easier. I've detected troop buildup in the region. If you accept this mission, move to the waypoint and disrupt Give my the force a little power. Why not? I want you to liberate a key operations camp. Okay, because I smack the ground adaptations like, oh my god, you took impact damage? We gotta fix that. Okay, that's good enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. Liberate the camp. This is usually the one, especially running solo, that you potentially, if you're not in here with like Mesa or Saren or some shit, Usually end up fucking this one up a little bit. These status proc, you cocksuckers. Fuck you. How do you like that? Yeah, I'm literally running the same fucking build. Dick. The problem is, is these dickheads are probably going to be downstairs. Just trying to status proc pretty much fucking everything. Hi, fellas. Shooting my kitty kitty. 
no. Guys, the beauty about running an AOE gun is you just basically aim in the general direction and understand the fall off, and life is good. Need help. <laughs> go away, go away, go away, your breath smells funny, go away. I kept the bonus for that one. Hey, buddy. Without control of that camp, their resources cannot move freely around the plains. Good shit. We'd like it like that. The commander in charge of this detachment is hiding somewhere near my waypoint. Draw them out and eliminate them. Guys, what up, you? the wrong amp. Cool. There's still one on him. Oh. <laughs> Yes, you can damage them with weaponry, just like any other Vongolists, they're just very tanky. What's up, bitches? Of course, cash hunting. Pretty much the same thing, just higher level. I mean, they're like running tier fives.
things. See, no more isoplast. We'll take it. We don't have much time. An enemy drone has crashed in your area. I need you. Great. Find it and hack it. Love the drone. I can tell you this, the orb valus bounties in my opinion. Whoops. That's it. I was actually gonna hack that, but I'm retarded, so. Escort it to the extraction point before the enemy can destroy it. Hey, get off my ship. Go forth and be status proct. Dick face. <laughs> I can just hear him burn to death. You're sending another weave to take out the drone. Yeah, I mean, you know, I could use a necromech. It's entirely a feasible thing you can do. Um, I just don't want to, honestly. They're sending another wave to take out the drone. Stay vigilant. <clears throat> I did have one last night that the drone just sat there and running in circles. It was actually quite fucking hilarious. Really, bitch? You guys are literally burning to death but still alive? Okay. guys told you this shit's broken See, this is the thing that kills people on doing these bounties, is that they sit there and they chase the areas, and you don't actually have to chase the enemies. If you run out of enemies, then sure. Thanks, buddy. And then, See you in the time three. I suppressed. Cool, so now we go to the giant white vagina. Also known as the sea disentrance, but we're not going to exit. We're just going to go to the little dome over here and restart this bitch. I keep seeing all these people running the shit, you know, in squads. And yes, squads make it easier, without question. Oh, I can't be chassis. It's like... 
three or four fucking cycles per component. The armor came after Cetus first. They craved to capture the Ooh. Blown out Orphix over here. I love that shit. Diehards to help them do it. Lucky for us, we have you, eh? Go and help those diehards to die a little easier. Dude, you're running solo that whole draw the perk out in one minute. That's the bitch. You gotta kill 15 fucking enemies that are kind of scattered about in one minute. It's not that it's not doable. Gonna have the enemies, and sometimes the enemies bug the fuck out a little. Well, I'm so glad that the target has come out for a fight. One on the list. The drone is nearby. Find it and hack it. The drone is nearby. I hate. Oh, there it is. Motherfucker is literally right below me. Come on, baby. Here we go. Oh, of course. Another wave to take out the drone. Stay Saw you. It sucks to suck, doesn't it, buddy? No. Bonk. Look, endo, 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 endo. Yay, motherfucking endo. Just take some isoplast. The vault's armor is too strong for your weapons to penetrate. I will hack it open, but first I need to oh, see the vault. I think like shooting the rock right in front of my fucking face and allowing myself to get knocked back. Get off. They dropped the data mass. 
Grab it. Good. Now insert that data mass into the console. If they destroy the console, we'll never get the vault open. Who coming? out of here. Damn. Dude standing right there and I didn't even see him. That's what we call destination fuck right there, motherfucker! Are you really trying to hit me with a sniper rifle right now? <laughs> so the timers are all the same, it really just comes down to getting the bonuses. Oh, I don't care if hentai's down. Hentai will come back. Bitch, I will murder you to death. We're in. Take the oh look, Caliban Systems, the part I don't need. The device honestly. Like, I already have the Karam, and the Karam is not tradable. Really? I have to go to the same fucking place? And find caches. Gravy. All this fucking bullshit noise, I gotta find caches. Which means, given the fucking location, one of them's probably in a cave. It's a frustration of bounties, man. Give me a mod, something, because I'm still missing a few of those. This is different. Oh, come on. I'm going to start the counter before I can even get down to these assholes. I can start the timer the moment I walked in the fucking cave, man. Just gotta go murder happy. Still beat your bitch ass clock. Good work, Kelly. Motherfuckers. Hey, and I was content. That's when I needed. Isoplast, isoplast, isoplast. Yeah, times three. Thank you very fucking much. Hell oh, yeah.
Yeah, like, I honestly wish that there were different bounties for the Narmers. Instead of having to wait this ridiculous cycle time. <clears throat> I know I've waited at least three cycles, because I waited the entire... I don't know if it's a day-by-day -day cycle, I just know it's long. God damn it, man, one minute. Here we go with this bullshit again. Yep, I'm not taking out the alarm. I want people to show up. I need the rock. I'm gonna step on my dick here. Come on, just give me fucking enemies. Is that a little too close for comfort here, fellas? Come on. Yeah, see, I missed the bonus because the fucking enemy drops for goofy. It's all right. I even left two fucking alarms. Oh my god, they actually got me on that one. I think it's the first time I've died doing this. That's pretty funny. Oh, did I kill your buddies? Sorry about that. That's legitimately the first time I fucking died doing one of these bounties. And I've been running lavas the whole fucking time. Drone has crashed in your area. I need you to escort it to safety. Oh, well. The drone is nearby. Find it and hack it. Thank you, Hentai. The drone is under our control now. Escort it to the extraction point before the enemy... Of course, it's only like 700 meters, right? Well, you know what? A little iridite for our trouble. They're sending another wave to take out the drone. How about not? Give me one easy little trip. Just one Tenno. One lowly Warframe. Hey, why don't you shoot at me? You shoot at me, please. Not my drone. Asshole doing over here. Dickhead, please stop shooting at my fucking drone. I know I'm not gonna get the end bonus, but that's fine. It is what it is. We're owning it. Too far away, so of course the drone doesn't want to doesn't want to move. Really, a fucking manic? At least a teleporting linear type.
No. They're sending another wave to take out the drone. Stay vigilant. How about now? Stop it. Bad juju I'm recording this. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Yeah, take some more isoplast. Definitely take some more isoplast. I mean, what was, what did I have, like 24 or some shit? I hate this fucking area. I know, I'm just over here like, shoot me in the fucking face so I can find you. Well, how convenient, it's right there. Stop it. Bitch! Here you go. How'd you like that? Better. Or else. Excuse me. No, no. Bitch. I ain't even moving until I know for sure if the... These resources will be supremely useful to our cause. These resources will be supremely useful to our cause. Those resources happen to be a couple of ammo drops. I found the shield. I love how it's showing the area outside of the shield as being a plausible location. Okay. Whatever. Oh, here we go. Well, that wasn't of the intent. This would have been just quicker to take the elevator, but you know. 
I'm sorry. Who's over here? I'm not even worried about the bonus at this point. Any survivors? I guess so. Oh no, see, I'm not worried about outside. dude. Good work, killer. One day, we will find out who is behind these new armor. And then, that person should pray See, I personally think, before and I've said this for a while, not really on camera, because I've done a lot of bounty runs off camera. Like, majority of them, honestly. Hey, guys. Point blank with a sniper, yeah, good call. Um, I personally think that if you can hit your bounty and hit your bonus per level, that it should be like a staggered bonus type rather than, you know, you miss one out of five and it's just destination fucked on your bounty reward. Especially during solo play. Yeah, I know there's gonna be plenty of solo players. Oh no, man, I hit my bounty and I hit my bounty bonus every time I play, and that's great. But you know what? I'm a reckless individual when it comes to gameplay here, so you know. <laughs> I'm not really griping, because you know it's really it's the odd drop that I don't get the, the bounty bonus. It's also the odd drop. You know what? Actually, since I've collected a fair amount of isoplast, let's go back in the seat just for a second. Because going in and out of Cetus has been a little weird lately. And there's been um, freezing bounties, you know, there's been some hiccups. Like, you know, um, the uh, supply cache drop one has been weird. Or uh, you just don't fucking get enemies. Maybe I already had an Irish Contempt. Yeah, I did have an Irish Contempt. Mars Anguish, I know I already had that one. Got 11 more Isoplast and the Ostroms I'm maxed with. Hmm. Actually, I think I was maxed with them previously, but whatever. It sounded like you, Uncle. It sounded so, like you, Uncle. Any hither like you needs a little snack. I think yeah? it's going to be the same, same shit. Picky, picky. Oh, shut up. See you again. Comes hey, you know. goofball. <sighs> okay, so I've got about a 20 minute time frame. So I'm going to wait until daytime runs out here and then I'm going to come back and we'll see how we're looking then uh, for Orb Valley. See if it's still systems. If it is, then I'll just shoot a different day. If not, then we'll just see what it is. So catch in a sec. Okay, so we're back. We're going to see if my theory is correct. I'll tell you what it is in a moment. Whatever. Doesn't matter. As long as it's not busy. Ha ha ha. See, I want to get the Narmer song now. Every time I come here, I want to hear for Narmer. Like these guys don't sing it. Well, you'll hear once in a blue moon, you'll hear one of the Solaris. All is one. Not most of. So, let's see. The business. He thought the world of her. Didn't get him much in the end. Okay. Anyway, you looking for work? <clears throat> I 
So this is what I mean when I say that a lot of people have been complaining about the Caliban farm. Okay. Boreal's hatred, Amar's anguish, Nyra's contempt. The same three mods over now at the second half of the next day of a two-day cycle as far as Cetus and Orvalis, right? So we've got daytime Cetus, nighttime Orvalis. You guys just saw me do the second round of daytime Cetus with basically the same payout with a different weapon. Because, <clears throat> well, on the first cycle, it was Caliban Systems, and it was the Karum blueprint as the rare drop. With Nyra's Contempt, Narmer's Eye Supplies 3, uh, and 12,000, or 1,200 era, Endo, 12,000, that'd be nice. Now, it's, everything is the fucking same, except now it's the Vertilite Blueprint. From my understanding, on the day-night cycle, it's supposed to change. It's supposed to be a different uncommon component for Caliban and a different weapon component. This is the shit that's pissing people off. This is why I said I was very lucky <clears throat> with getting all three weapons. Um, yeah, getting all that was funny seeing that limbo in the background. Um, this is where the complaint has been lying, though, is that there's such a massive amount of inconsistency right now. It's just bonkers. It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. There's there's just no continuity or nor no real timing. Like if you come back on the hour, like I don't have a problem if I have to set a timer on my phone and come back. I don't have a problem with that in the world. But you know, come back an hour later. Like right now, it is literally December 22nd. Yes, I know this is posting in January. It's December 22nd at 4:50 a.m. Okay. When you guys saw me dip out, it was 3.45 a.m. Three forty somewhere in that time frame. Like I finished watching a movie that I had started. Because I didn't need Caliban systems. All I need is Caliban chassis. I've got <clears throat> excuse me, I've got neuroptics and I've got systems built. So, and this is just for a spare to feed the helmet. So I'm not even tripping about it. Like, I've already got my stuff. There's a lot of people that don't, though. What I want is the mods. And the mods are cycling in such weird fucking ways. And the time frames are cycling in such weird-ass ways. And if you guys have heard something that I obviously have not found as of yet, by all means, definitely leave a comment below. But just remember, this is on the 22nd of December. Um... So when you guys see this, I think you're going to see this on the 3rd of January, I believe. 2nd or 3rd? Uh, probably the 3rd. So, <clears throat> take, into, uh, take into account, please, that it's going to be like, you know, 10 days, 11 days, something like that. So, um, but yeah, I mean, this as of right now, as of December 22nd at 4.50 in the morning, this is the inconsistencies that people are wholeheartedly complaining about. That's why I said I felt very fortunate. I got literally, <clears throat> technically it was two bounty rounds. So overall it was actually 10. Um, but right after I got done with the quest, I was chit chatting with Dranka and we went and ran the Narmer, um, the Narmer bounty twice. And I got Caliban systems and I got, um, I think it was the Vertilac blueprint first. And then I took a nap and I woke up and wife got off work and I immediately jumped into farming. And I happened to just catch the very beginning of the Cetus cycle. And that next run, I got um, Caliban uh, Neuroptics. And what else? I got Caliban Neuroptics and the Nefari, I think is what it was. Um... And then the next run, I got the next weapon, which is the uh, Karum. Um, and then I got some Isoplast and, you know, some Endo and shit like that. And then it was a few runs later in. It was the very last fucking run, obviously, that I got the, um, the Caliban chassis. But it was on the day and night cycle. Like, it was basically 
what would basically a two hour cycle overall. Um, but I was on Orvalis when I got the Caliban chassis. So it was at the back end of the cycle, but it was like at the front end of the cycle, basically at the start of the day, there would be a new rotation of the drop table. So different mods, different Caliban part, different weapon. I don't understand what in the hell has changed since the the day after the release of the quest and the day after the release of, I mean, basically 24 hours after the, the quest released, it went from having a this day-night cycle and then a new drop table to all of a sudden, hey, you know, spend four hours, you get basically the identical fucking drop table, except we might change the weapon. Okay. I, th I just, I think there's, uh, th this should have been, I mean, granted, you know, the quest was great and there's a lot that went into that quest. But when you've got two and a half years to finish the fucking quest at your own leisure due to having to do it from home, you got plenty of time to kind of sort out this kind of bullshit here because drop tables are drop tables are drop tables. I know it's all RNG. You know, I really do. And I'm not, I'm not complaining of the fact of it's RNG and you've got to grind for the shit. That's not it at all. But at least make the drop tables consistent. That's my thing. This is like stupid. I've literally got four hours invested in this to try to farm a spare Warframe and mods. And I'm literally getting the exact same fucking mods and the exact same Warframe component over a four hour time frame. Like, what? <laughs> Technically, it's not four hours. It's like um, just over three hours because obviously we're just early into the new cycle, into the night cycle of Cetus. Um, so, but still, I mean, the the, the point stands that it's going to be a four hour deal before anything can be checked out, and I'm not going to be able to check it out because I got to go lay down before long. I mean, I've been up all goddamn night, so I'm not going to sit here, you know, for basically an hour waiting for this to cycle to see if I can farm it and then basically get myself murdered, which is honestly part of what got me killed earlier was just simply I'm tired. I'm not tired enough to sleep because I'm still with my ear, but I'm just exhausted. That's not the game's fault, but that's why I hadn't died in here because I had been trying to do it earlier. You know, so it's like, you know, I don't blame the game for that. That's a me thing. I just go ham and if I die, I die. I don't care. That's why I play so reckless, man. I just don't care. I, I don't take this seriously. But I know that there are plenty of people that actually spend money on this game on a frequent basis. Some spend very good money on this game on a very frequent basis. And I just look at that and I go, man, this is kind of... Eh, fuck the players. You'll figure it out. You'll get your shit eventually. That's true. You know, it might be the third cycle for the chassis before you actually get the chassis to drop. You could run an entire day and night cycle and not get the chassis to drop because RNG is RNG. Random number generator, you know? I mean, random drop. So, but at the same time, if they were consistent to where, you know, you do one day cycle, one night cycle, and then the drop table changes. So then you've got a different Amaras mod, you've got a different Boreals mod, you've got a different Nyra's mod because there are three of each. Um, you've got a new Caliban component, and then you've got one of the other weapon components. You know, or the weapon blueprint, I should say. And then everything else is the isoplast, the endo, um, isoplast and endo, and then isoplast and endo. So, I just, I don't understand the inconsistency behind this, because it's going to be a four-hour cycle, and I guarantee it's probably just going to be a different weapon blueprint again, if I were to sit here with my thumb up my ass for, you know, an additional you know, 50 minutes at this point, you know, 45 minutes at this point, however long it is. Um, I mean, hell, I'll tell you. Uh, Warframe Hub. Uh, 35. Well, technically 33, but still. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, so... <laughs> it's just... I, there's something they got to fix, you know? I mean, we're all used to, have to having to chase the drop tables to figure out when we need to farm things. And I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm 100% I'm fine with the RNG side. And 
the consistency behind that level of RNG, you know, like you get to this rotation, you're going to get this type of drop. You get to this rotation, you're going to get this type of drop. And it's always going to be this way. And then the bounties have certain rotational cycles for, you know, their day and night cycles and things like that and hot and cold. So, or warm and cold. So, I mean, you know, there's, there's normal consistency that comes. Even if you got to do it a few times through those cycling timeframes on the free roams, you know, and fast and vohm for Deimos, you know. So, I mean, it's it's just, but there's consistency to it, you know. Like, I'm still, to this day, I have still yet to be able to farm Jugulus Carapus. I have run it so many fucking times and that shit has popped up. And I have still yet to farm that mod. It's funny to me, honestly. It really is. It's absolutely fucking hilarious to me. I've actually, I don't think I've farmed any of the Jugulus mods. I may have one of them. I'd have to look uh, to be certain. But I think I have one of the Jugulus set. I've got a couple of the Saxum. I've got a couple of the um, Carnus. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem to matter how often I run that endless mission. I just don't get those mods. <laughs> I get like everything else but those mods. I get you know, fucking Ion Kuva and all sorts of shit, but I don't get those fucking mods. And I still, since I started running that endless mission on Deimos, no matter what cycle it is, I mean, those mods are always available on the endless mission and I still have yet to get it. And I mean, I'm okay with that. That's the funny thing. I'm totally okay with it because it's RNG, man. I mean, it's RNG. What am I going to do? Bitch, complain, piss and moan? No, absolutely not. This is where you, you do have a right to gripe though. This is where you do have a right to kind of step up and say, guys, what the fuck are we doing here? You know, I mean, if it's like a 24 hour period, all of a sudden with one of the hot fixes, now it's like once a day, you, you know, or, you know, whenever the next day, whatever start of that day is, is when you get the chance to get this drop table with a chance at a weapon change. Okay. But right now there hasn't been anything leading up to that. I haven't seen a damn thing lead up to that. It's just all of a sudden, yeah, yeah, bump, go fuck yourself. Here you go. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired. I mean, by all means, leave your comments below and your thoughts on it. Because, I mean, just... Again, my point still stands at this. I don't mind grinding. I don't mind farming. I don't mind the fact that it's RNG. I don't mind that it's a looter. You know, it's a looter that we're basing on drops. Again... The Jugulus Carpus, you know, issue for me. I could run that thing God knows how long before that fucking mod drops, but eventually I'll get it and I'm fine with that and I own that. So that's not my complaint. My complaint is simply consistency to the drop tables, right? I mean, does, does anyone disagree that there should be more consistency to the drop table? At least with the new Narm request. Because the rest are pretty damned consistent, in my opinion. They really are. I mean, you know, some people may agree, some may disagree. Um, but I think across the free roams, for the most part, they're pretty damn consistent. But this new Narmer, these new Narmer uh, bounties, I said quests, these uh, these new Narmer bounties are just, they're, they're absolutely fucking bonkers. It's, it was like day one was all right. It was day-night cycle. And then... Everything fucking flopped on the day-night cycle, and I got the drops quick as shit. But it was like after the first 24 hours, they were into like hot fix number two. And when hot fix number two took over and hot fix three hit, I don't know if they had anything to do with the bounties or not. But they're goofy as shit now. So, like, I'm not even going to run this. I'm really not. I'm going to look at what, because I don't remember what Caliban chassis takes. I think, if I remember right... Caliban, I, I think it needs three anomaly shards if I remember right. Oh no, let's look. Let's look at this. Caliban Warframe Wiki. I honestly am so mentally exhausted right now that I'm like, uh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, three anomaly shards. Where's chassis? Uh, six, uh, 16 armor isoplast, good there, 20 more, uh, mort, I guess, uh, mortis horn, think I've got that, and I know I've got the hespen, uh, hespesim alloy, so, yeah, I just gotta check the anomaly shards, so, but on that note, I think I'm just gonna stop right here, um, 
Because, again, I'm not trying to bitch about the quest in any way. I'm not trying to bitch about the bounties. I don't mind doing the bounties. It's to grind, you know? I just want I just want to see more consistency with it. So, I don't know. You tell me what you think. Seriously. I mean, I think we all want consistency with RNG. Because RNG is so inconsistent in itself, we at least want a consistent drop table. So, at least we know what the hell we could potentially get. Even if we don't get it, at least we know it's there to get. So... I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. Who knows? So anyway, hell of a way to start off the year, right? Welcome to 2022 and shit, as far as you guys are seeing it. Hell of a first fucking video. Hey, look, we're doing fucking bounties. Hey, look, the bounty's broken. <laughs> All right, well... Uh, hope everybody had a safe and happy new year and had a good time for Christmas and all that. So, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.